I'm 17 years old. I'm 14 years old. I'm doing grade 9 in the Oprah Women's Leadership, Leadership Academy, Academy for Girls. I like doing maths, science and music. I'm a big creative and I just enjoy being in VA, visual arts. My favorite subject is history because without knowing where you come from, it's as if you don't understand yourself completely. The girls who come to the school come from different parts of South Africa. They come from extreme poverty. A lot of our girls here have been violated at a young age. At like six, seven, eight years old, a lot of bad things would happen. I don't always feel safe when I'm at home because I can't just walk outside. There was a theft and murder, sometimes even rape, and it started causing anxiety. I really struggled in primary school because there was just a lot of bullying there. Um, made me feel like I did not matter. Sometimes I wouldn't feel seen. They come here, there's electricity, there's all of this, and they get excited, and they don't know how to behave in the environment. I was very nervous, especially since I knew I was going to be away from home a lot. The girls experience a lot of anxiety and a lot of depression because it's not what they are used to. Homesickness hits them. They miss their families. Remember, they come here at the age of 12 and 11. They feel isolated. As much as I've heard how much of a good school this is, it's still something I carried with me. I used to have social anxiety, like really bad. I'd shake, I would stutter a lot. Oleg is a trauma-informed school. A trauma-informed school is, is a school that firstly recognizes that everyone has trauma. That for you to get the best out of the child, you have to deal with the trauma. And we were fortunate to, to be introduced to the work of Dr. Perry, who helped us to navigate that space. So morning, ladies. Finished exams, right? Yes. Yes. OK. We learned about the neurosequential model, NM, through our stepping lessons. I didn't know what stepping meant. I thought it was PE. OK, so what are some of the techniques you do in stepping? And how can we use those effectively to make our studying better? Overstudying makes you stressed, and then you tend to forget. So like, I avoid study materials just before I write the exam. So instead of adrenaline, I'm kind of like <laughs> more calm more at calm. center. Yeah. Yes. OK. In 2018, our team officially were introduced in the neurosequential model. I want to do a very quick, short meditation with you. OK. It's a neurobiology kind of lens into understanding development and functioning of us as human beings. And the first thing I want you to do is I want you to take your hands and I want you to clench them as tightly as you can. Now your arms, that... The neurosequential model teaches us the brain stem. If that part is clogged and you are in, not in a good space or you are triggered, or in panic mode. You're not able to access the top part of your brain to learn. So at OLAG, we have learned different ways to regulate your brain stem, and it differs person to person. Regulation is when a, an individual is feeling unsaturated, stressed, and they need to calm down from um, the sense that when you dysregulate, you can't think. Regulation is in many forms, like the stress ball where a person can squeeze and breathe in and breathe out. You can see girls dancing as they walk from class to class. You should see them with the movement of the beat, and that relates to the heartbeat and the calming down of however and whatever stress you are going through in that moment. I personally prefer taking a break. Like, it's been normalized that you get up, stand up, go to the back of the room, just takes three minutes. 
when I'm angry or stressed or just upset, I'll just start crocheting or sometimes I'll just start knitting. There's netball. Ooh. For me, sports is life. Okay, okay you okay. go. I can be who I am and nobody will judge me. One of my favorite um, regulating techniques would be running. It will make me feel so much better. They call it regulate. So they're able to understand their triggers. And at first they would cry and maybe throw themselves on the floor. Over time, you see them being able to adjust and calm themselves down. When you're regulated, for me, my mind is open to learn. I am, in the moment, I'm present, whereas where I'm dysregulated, it's easy to drift away, it's easy to not concentrate in class. So we have noticed as a school that the numbers of students that went to sick bay, complaining of anxiety, that those figures have gone significantly down. Um, they're quite lower in the recent years since we started implementing the neurosequential model. We see students being able to regulate themselves better. After coming here to OLAG, I learned to give myself space and time and learn to love myself more. It's a ripple effect, um, this program, because what they learn at OLEG, they take to, home, to, to their families, to university. I graduated from the Open for Leadership Academy for Girls in 2022. I've gone on and now I'm at my first year of university at the University of Pretoria. The newer sequential model is a safety net that extends beyond OLAG. It feels safer to speak about how I feel and you can openly say like I have depression and you give more, yourself more grace because of that. And it really is empowering. When a child progresses to university, we see families taking more initiatives in wanting to heal. Families now are using the language of trauma. When we can embrace and do the work of trauma, we will all heal and thrive as a society. It's important to ask the question, what happened to you, uh, rather than what's wrong with you, because their identity is not the poverty, their identity is not the abuse. They say a leader makes more leaders, and that's what I want to do with my life. We believe that us who have been trained in this model, and so we have a, an opportunity to impact beyond the fence and grow this gift and change the world.